Look at this. Alligator hunters down south trolling the waters for giant beasts of the bayou. And they're landing huge record-setting monsters like this 15-foot-long oh creature goodness. caught in Alabama last week. It doesn't weekend. even look real, no. but it is. It is. How much did it weigh? According to the teleprompter, it weighed over a thousand pounds, Paula. <laughs> and the people searching for these gators in the dead of night, they aren't letting anything stop them. Maybe these Gio Benitez went along for the ride. It's midnight, deep in the dark waters of the Mississippi Delta, and we're along for the final 48 hours of this record-breaking alligator hunting season. Meet Beth Trammell and her family of unusual gator hunters. They caught this 723-pounder. And just an hour later, Dustin Bachman and his team wrangled this one four pounds heavier. So on this night, we hit the pitch black swamps of Mississippi with that ordinary suburban family turned reptile wranglers. Beth, you're a paralegal by day, alligator hunter by night. The alligator queen. The alligator queen. <laughs> For the next three hours of chasing, the trammels would spot gators, but they'd disappear underwater as soon as they spotted us. It's all those eyes, those red eyes. Come on, bud. Come on up. At about five feet long, it's the one they want. Some people might be wondering, why do you do this? We eat the meat. I don't see it any different than the prepackaged meat in the grocery store. In fact, with that giant catch last week, they'll have 120 pounds of meat. Enough to last months. Jerk to land. And that record breaker, Dustin Bachman, oh, no. the battle would go on for hours. I got it. Let it go. Stop. In the end, an 11 foot monster captured right in front of our cameras. We set out tonight with hopes of uh, catching an alligator, maybe a big one. It's really hard to get one in the first place. I just enjoy being out here and, and love doing it. For Good Morning America, Gio Benitez, ABC News, the Mississippi Delta.